Crunch, your weekly video game podcast. My name is Mike Anastasia, and with me tonight we have Nick. Hello, I am Nick. And Brandon. If it's me, how come it only happens here? Uh, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, are you talking about your venereal disease again, Brandon? <laughs> Anyways. I'm talking about Skype being a bitch, as uh. per usual. <laughs> Not gonna get any deals with Skype because Skype can go fuck themselves. Yeah, well, we're off to a good start already. Also, off to a good start this week. We've played a bunch of Super Mario Maker. I got Terraway unfolded. Nick's back into Destiny, and Brandon is Brandon. I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you. That's what I did. Uh, okay. Anyways, are uh, you guys ready to get started? Yes. Yep. All right. Let's launch into Mario Maker because yep. Mario Maker. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I'm having a lot of fun. How about you guys? Enjoying it? Playing it right now. With the tools? You probably... You Actually, know what? That's probably why we're yeah. having problems. You're sucking up all your internet connection with Mario Maker, <laughs> uploading all the crazy levels, playing the 100 Mario Challenge, and being ridiculous. That's probably our problem. That's, that's have, probably I, it. I have the game on right now. It's, I have, like, the, the main menu music playing in the background. I'm like, well, this is nice. <laughs> it's very calming. Yeah, no, it's very nice. And then nice. you play some of the Japanese levels, and you're like, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Yeah. I know. I was playing 100 Mario Challenge earlier, and I'm going through. I'm like, all right, this ain't too bad. And then Anytime a I see a Japanese stage, I'm, and like, and I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> have you tried it on expert yet? I have not, because I'm no. afraid to. God damn it. Yeah, Nick, you, th you think you know bad level design? Wait until you try those levels on expert. <laughs> Most of them are, like, unbeaten pieces of garbage. So... <laughs> they, they, they beat it on a fluke. Yeah, like, you have to, I mean, for those that don't know, like, when you make a Mario Maker level and you go to upload it, the first thing it does is go, hey, great, why don't you beat this level? Because we're not uploading it until you do. Mm -hmm. So then it starts you over from the beginning, and then you have to beat it before you upload it. So someone has beaten it, but, yeah. I, I mean, there was a level yesterday, there must have been, like, a hidden block or some bullshit somewhere, because I, I literally was in a spot I could not get through, and I'm just like, nope, shitty level, skip, and... Uh, <laughs> I feel like I do that a lot on the 100 Mario Challenge. There's a lot of shitty levels. So, mm -hmm. oh, there's so a lot far, of good stuff, too. Like, there's a lot of levels that I've seen so far where it's just like, how big can I make this character? All right. <laughs> we put 30 of them. Yeah. And let's add 100 trampolines. <laughs> good luck. GG. GG. Yeah. And then you just run through. And it's like, uh, fuck. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but it's like, oh, it's, it's so frustrating. Yeah, it can be. And some of the jumps are just, like, pixel perfect. And then, you know, I had I, there was one level I played yesterday. It was a Japanese level. And, like, I get through, like, the first, like, jump okay. And then I go to make the next jump, hidden block. I'm like, oh, fuck you. So <laughs> I, I, like, get back and start it again. J hit the, trigger the hidden block, jump on top of it to make the block, hidden block. I'm like, you fucking dick. I'm like, skip. <laughs> you know what I'm waiting for? Um, I'm not sure if you've, either of you have ever seen the video, but like it's a really old internet video of a uh, Super Mario frustration. I don't know. It's like this dude who is playing this like it's obviously a hacked Mario level. Mm -hmm. That's like somebody made on the computer, but it's like a super ridiculous, super impossible level to beat. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for somebody to remake that in this game. I feel like it's gonna happen. Maybe. Although speaking of like those hacked Mario videos, not, Nintendo has been taking them off of mm -hmm. YouTube lately. I didn't mm -hmm. put it in news, but it seems like a good time to talk about it. Uh, you know, with all the stuff they have going on with Mario Maker, they're trying to separate out, like, the counterfeit levels with, like, the legit stuff, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Because I think the PCs, I forget what the program's called, but for a few years it's had, like, a create-your-own-Mario level type of thing. So. Yep, and there's websites dedicated to it and all that good jazz. But how much but, have you guys played? I've played a decent okay. amount. I mean, I've got... I wasn't lying. I, I really am playing it right now. I love I, this <laughs> game. I've beaten all the 10 Mario Challenge levels. I beat the Nintendo World Championship levels. Mm -hmm. I've done easy and normal 100 Mario Challenge. And I've made, like, eight or so levels. One of which is a masterpiece that it can't beat for whatever I, reason. We'll, we'll get I to that. Okay. I haven't um, I <laughs> made any levels yet because I'm trying to unlock everything. And I haven't done yeah. all the 10 Mario things because I went straight to the 100 and started playing online first and foremost before I... Uh... Personally, I think it's better to do the 10 Mario Challenge first. Oh, I, I'm noticing that now. Because those are the Nintendo-made levels, and I think they're good kind of inspiration points for your own levels. 
Mm-hmm. But a lot of times they have like kind of simple concepts that you can iterate on in your own levels, mm-hmm. which I think is kind of a neat idea. And, and then they got some really creative stuff there too. They show off like kind of the stuff you can do with the sound effects and everything. Mm-hmm. So I mean that that's all really neat. But like I said, the the, the user made levels are such a grab bag that it's kind of like maybe you got yeah. good stuff, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Um, something that I actually was surprised about yesterday because. I knew there was amiibo functionality with this game. I wasn't exactly sure how it worked or what mm-hmm. you had to do for it. And then somebody made like a level where it's like uh, question mark blocks of all the different amiibo characters you can be. Yep. Yeah. But then I finished 100 Mario Challenge. It's like, all right, here's a new costume. And it's like some random character from Animal Crossing. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, wait, what? This is awesome. <laughs> but it was just really sweet because like I played this uh, one level that's the person's like, oh, it's Metroid. And I start up and I'm just Oh, you played that one too? Yeah. Yeah. And then you get another mushroom, then your Vario suit says, so she's like, yo, this is fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I got there's it. Like, there's like a hundred costumes, and only 50 of them are from Amiibos. So. Granted, they could be from Amiibos at some point as well. Oh, yeah. But True. I, mean, the first but I, I would love was to get a... that question mark block as an Amiibo. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. I, uh, the first... Or the bounce pad? Amiibo bounce pad? Yes. <laughs> The, the first uh, costume that I unlocked was Slippy Toad, and it was so great. Like I love oh, the Star God. Fox characters in there because he he comes up and it's all like Super Nintendo. He's like dip 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 dip, and then like <laughs> when you fall in the hole, it's like the noise that the R wing makes if you like lose and like Star Fox. Oh yeah, I like, love dun, that. Dun dun. <laughs> like I beat a level of Sonic earlier, and like it played this. It, all the sound effects I've noticed looks like they're from Sonic Three, but like you and beat it's a level probably the best with... Sonic game you've ever played. Sonic Three. No, whatever level you just played. No, because there wasn't enough loops. Uh, uh, but then, like, you end the level and it plays, like, the, the victory music. I'm like, oh, this is really fucking cool. They actually put detail into this. Mm-hmm. Although, the one thing I wish they could do is, you know how, like, all right, you get the costume, you become either, like, whatever, Sonic, whatever Amiibo costume you put on. Mm-hmm. I wish you could stay that costume for the entirety of the level because it's like you get hit and the costume flies off you, then you're Mario again. Yeah. So I kind of wish they could set up like, all right, you start this as this costume, and mm-hmm. you know, if you die, you die as that person, not as Mario. Yeah, I think that would be nice too. I mean, it fall down a hole, obviously that works. Yeah, I did just see this video. I tweeted it on YouTube. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but it was called like Waluigi's existential existence or something, <laughs> and <laughs> it, like you have to, you have to like get one of those mushrooms that turns you into Waluigi. And then you go through, like, all this, like, scary shit where it's, like, this is your heart and all this, like, I, I don't know. And then, like, basically you have to sacrifice yourself to get down a pipe and then you turn into Mario. I don't know. It's crazy. If you follow me <laughs> on Twitter, like, look at the video. I retweeted it earlier today. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, you can do it some really awesome. creepy stuff with it. Yeah, I actually say the level that Nick ever finished, I actually did some, like, masterpiece work in terms of, like, the sound I actually design. Started- thinking about maybe I should do a try to do like a pseudo creepy pasta through Mario Maker. It seems oh, please, like something please, that you could do. Please don't. Please, what? I'm, please please don't do. <laughs> dude, dude, I'm actually good at that sort of shit. So like uh, You kinda could. I mean Brandon, you should try my bro. level out. I bet you could figure it out. And uh I, I said I might give you some ideas for some crazy things you can do with it. So because I try to make more of a puzzle based level as opposed uh-huh. to like a right to left level. So. I actually like those a lot more because it's like, like I played uh, where I was doing the hundred Mario challenge. Uh-huh. Somebody made a Luigi's Mansion level, mm-hmm. and like there was like just a bunch of doors and ghosts and shit. You had to kind of find where you're, you know, mm-hmm. way around. It was really cool. Yeah, That's but uh, idea, actually, I wasn't planning on getting this game right away. Uh, I was out last night with a friend, and we were looking for amiibos, which I was able to find. Uh, Doctor Mario, which you, I saw, I sent you guys a picture. Yeah, my Target had like ten of them, and they were just, like it was like Sunday, and they came out Friday. I think Friday. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard the exclusives with this, like this latest release, have been like plentiful. So Same Dr. thing Mario, with uh, Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, from what we've seen, reserve wise from GameStop for their retro three pack, like that doesn't seem like it's in short supply at all either. So, the only people I've had trouble getting is Ganon. Uh, the other one that seems like it looks like the 30th anniversary Mario is kind of hard to get to. I actually still haven't picked mine up yet. So. Yeah, I got I got him the day they came out. I got a uh, 30th anniversary Mario. I got Olimar, and I got Zero Suit Samus. Which Zero Suit Samus looks really good. Yeah, um, I like Zero Suit especially Samus. the face. The only thing they, I don't like about it is how like how it looks from the back. 
because it's like its legs are like all wrapped up around like the plastic. But yeah, yeah, it's like frozen carbonite. Mm-hmm. But exactly. like the only complaint I've heard about that amiibo so far is that the hair is too yellow. But I'm like, she's a blonde, so I don't really. Yeah, and she had very yellow hair in a lot of the games. Anyways. Yeah, so so. No, I, yeah. I think they all look nice. Honestly, Olimar, I think, is awesome, too. I really like how Olimar looks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think he looks the best out of all the new ones that so far I've seen that have come out. But uh, the store I went to, they had, like, two Ganons, and, like, as soon as they opened the gate, they sold both of them. <sighs> like, I really want him. Because I, I have seen that of me, but my friend imported one, and he looks really nice. He does. I mean, I have mine, too. And, and you know what the thing is, too? That was one that a lot of people were like, oh, it's going to be so common because it's a Zelda character. Which a lot of the other, I mean, like Zelda and Link had been. So, but apparently not. Apparently they don't care anymore. It's all about the exclusives. <laughs> yeah. So the, the only people I see in like large quantity right now is Bowser. Like my Toys R Us has just a shit ton of Bowser. I think some of it's like yeah. region dependent too. Like some areas just have like ridiculous amounts of certain characters yeah. than others. No rhyme or reason to it. But uh, so while well, I was out looking for Amiibos last night, I was at Best Buy. And I was like, oh, Mario Maker. Fuck it, why not? And I picked it up because I heard nothing but good things about it. And I did want it. I wasn't planning on getting it right away. But I'm, I'm really glad I picked it up because it's really fun. And I'm going to get more into it, like trying to make my own levels and stuff like that. But um, no, no, so far it's good. I, I just kind of wish they had like, not like a campaign mode, obviously, but like just a short, like maybe five to ten level thing that like Nintendo made. Unless that, I haven't found that That's yet. what the Ted Mario thing is. We were just talking about it. Where is that? Because I see 100 Mario Challenge courses and makers. So the main menu. when you when you're in the main menu, like mm. so, when you pull up like the plus thing that's do you whatever, it should have 10 Mario Challenge, and then it should mm-hmm. be courses. Those should be your two options right there. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so that'd be that'd be fun to play because I, w- I would like to get some sort of ideas going because I'm not the most creative person. If you ever saw my little big planet profiles, I have like nothing because <laughs> I I enjoy playing the levels more than I do making them most of the time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, ten Mario Challenge that 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 is Nintendo made levels. There's like sixty four of them, I believe. Okay. And once you beat those, it unlocks the four Nintendo World Championship levels, which are awesome and also a good idea. Give me some ideas. And then I would go from there. I I think that's the best place to start if you're looking for some ideas. And the other thing is, too, as you unlock, unlock, like, the new tool sets, they'll give you a level that will kind of show them off. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to get the Super Mario World tool set because I love those the best. It takes a while. Awesome. The The one thing, too, and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but, like, you can unlock the tool sets faster. Mm-hmm. Uh, so originally, when the game was pre-release, you had to wait. You'd like, wait nine days. Nine days, yeah. For everything. And then people would just time travel because fuck it. Yeah, you could time travel, or um, but once the game came out, they actually patched in that, like if you build enough, then you'll unlock the tool sets faster. So you just spend five mm-hmm. minutes building in the level, and then once you put down enough blocks, like literally paint the screen with blocks. It'll be like, hey, there's an unexpected delivery here. Uh, the only thing <laughs> it's, is, it's every tool set ever. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not. You can you unlock them still one at a time, but you have to go through. You have to make sure you use like each like new thing that they give you, or mm-hmm. it won't do it. So you have to put down like, oh, here's a wiggler, here's a you know ice block, here's a mm, I don't know conveyor belt, and like once all the exclamation points are gone for like the new characters, paint the screen with like blocks, and then it'll, eventually it'll just be like, okay, here you come, here's your new level. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. I, I do like some of the stuff that they did there. And then you mm-hmm. can start changing, like, the time and the scrolling and things like that. So Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, I feel like, too, you could do, like, at least some of the really good levels I've seen and some of the stuff I've been able to do, you could make some really creative stuff. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's not just your, your normal Mario level. It's not just the painful troll levels. Like, you can do some, like, really neat stuff. There are some painful troll levels, though. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of painful troll levels. Again, most of them come from Japan. <laughs> I'm sure you have your fair share of troll levels up, though, Brandon. My fair share of troll levels? Yeah, I'm sure you've made only troll levels. I've made no levels yet myself, because I haven't unlocked these sets that you're talking about. You, you can start making stuff right away. Like I what? know, but I want to have all the tools at my disposal before, so I can... Be as creative as possible. See, that's the thing. I will just say this too. I do feel like I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but 
But it's not a bad idea to spend time with the tool sets as they unlock. Like, I, I do feel like that will help you understand the tools that you have a bit better. Like, once you unlock everything, it can be a bit daunting. I mean, it isn't necessarily, but it's not a bad idea to spend time with everything. Because there's a lot of new watts, especially mm. when you start adding, like, wings to things and shaking things and doing all the other stuff. And that's the one thing that always gets me with these two. I'll be like, where do you get this whatever? And it's usually, like, a hidden item that you get for shaking something. Mm. So, be like, where do I get these platforms that disappear, like, when you jump on them? Well, you have to shake it. That, that's where it is. So, you know, it's things like that. Mm-hmm. So shake everything. Got it. It's not a bad idea. Shaking does a lot of good for most things. And, you know, obviously you can combine mushrooms with things, but it doesn't seem like a lot of the other power-ups will work with them. You can also stick things into, like, cannons and stuff. They'll launch out. Stick things in the pipes. They'll launch out. So you do some neat stuff that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, anything else you guys want to say about Mario Maker? Yeah, I love it. It's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's great. You should try my level that Nick can't beat. So. I'm sorry, but okay. okay let me let's, explain let's, let's, is there a good way to find your friend's levels? Like, is there a good no. way for that? Well, <laughs> when Nick played my level, I found who he was, and then I just, well, I mean, I already had his as my friend on the thing, but then I just, like, favorited him as, like, a person. So, like, there's that. I did just see an article somewhere today that's like, here's the best way to find your friends on Mario Maker, but I didn't read it, so I don't have any advice in that regard. Okay, so... So, yeah, yeah let, let's hear your grievances, okay. Nick. So, all right, door number, there, there's four doors. Yeah. Door number one, mm -hmm. you walk in, there's fire sticks yep. below and above you, and they spin. Yeah, that's what fire all sticks right. do. So, I'm, I'm going to run, I'm going to run through, I'm going to dodge all the fire sticks, uh -huh. jump on the trampoline, nothing. That, that's, all that's, right. that's your first problem. Okay. So, I'm really get, bad at the trampoline bounces. I'm really bad at that. I get out of that room, mm -hmm. and I go to like the next. I'm pretty sure the other three rooms are also, like, dead ends. I don't remember in detail what they were. But that's the but thing. I, They're all dead ends. Yeah, no, that's my problem. And then the main room is also a dead end. It's not a dead end. That's your problem. But I do the jump, and I don't go anywhere. Because you need <laughs> another trampoline. Wait, can I pick it up? Yeah. Yeah, you can pick you up can all pick the up the... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's your problem. <laughs> When have you ever been able to pick up trampolines in Mario? Since Super Mario World. That's yeah, how long. Since Super Mario World. God. <laughs> fucking damn it. So why don't you so try, try the level again, and now you know you can pick up things. <laughs> See if you can figure it out. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to go through room one, because that's the hardest room to get a trampoline in. <laughs> Fuck that. I know I can pick up the trampolines. Yep. No one ever explained that. <laughs> you did Poor level design. You didn't explain. You didn't give me. <laughs> it's not my fault. You don't know how to play Mario games. Like <laughs> it is your fault. I blame you entirely. <laughs> I mean, I even gave you an arrow that's like up, up. <laughs> no, I, I did go up, but I was like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> and I even, I'm pretty sure I didn't even pick up trampolines in Super Mario World. Like I just kind of used you don't them. ever really need to. But I mean, there are some instances where it's smart to. I don't know. Like, Yoshi can carry him around in his mouth and things like that. That's why I died, like, five times. I'm right there. I'm like, what? What do I do? I don't understand. <laughs> I was just like, you're like, I jumped on the trampoline. It went nowhere. I'm like, there's a wall over top of it. I don't know where you think you're jumping to. <laughs> and then one time I jumped, the fire stick was so long, it was off the screen, so I couldn't see it. And I jumped right into it. <laughs> I was like, all right, you know what? We're done here. This yeah, is so, so now that you know, bullshit. I want you to go back and try it. Because, like, you, you're halfway there at that point, once you have the trampoline. The next part's not harder. All right. I'll have to report back to you on that. Okay. I mean, just to see if you can beat it this time. And Brandy should try it, too. Now that we told you all the fun tricks. So, anyways, anything else about Mario Maker? No, I think I'm pretty... I mean, I haven't had that much time with it, but from what I have had, it's been fun, so... Yeah, no, I know. I think it's been fun. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, it's only been three days, I guess, since we've recorded, yeah. but it's it's been very fun from what I've been yeah. able to do. And I, like I said, I've been able to do some really neat stuff, so that's always fun. It's nice, too, because you get, like, alerts when people play your levels when you upload them. Uh -huh. So they'll be like, hey, and that's how I knew you were playing. It's like, Nick's playing your level, because I was playing the game at the same time. And I'm like, oh, I like it. It's like... And then you, you just groan. You can see, like, what... <laughs> Did he give you the code or something? Yeah, I posted he, it in, uh, in the chat. Yeah, he posted I, it in the Facebook chat. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah. I missed He's going to do his thing and be like, hey, how, do you, how do you, like, did it scroll up? Like, I feel like you lose Facebook messages sometimes. I, I, I actually do. Uh, this is a known problem. I, I lose them because sometimes I'm signed into my tablet. So sometimes messages appear on there and don't appear on my actual Facebook. Uh, but I, I use the app too and I get them on both. Well, listen, here's the, here's my, no. I'm uh, dumb. Well, fuck uh, Facebook. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, literally, literally, Sunday at 8.13 p.m., I have a picture, and it's literally the, the code for the level. Mm-hmm. I'm putting it in as we speak. Hmm. I just put it into the Skype chat, too, so you can try it. Okay. I mean, guys... I'm, I'm, I'm trying it right now, just so you know. If, if, if any of you <laughs> listeners want to try this level, I did post it onto my Twitter feed, too. So it is there. You can go back and look at it. And, uh, yeah, give it a try. I, I, I'm very proud of what, we, what I was able to do at this level. So There you go. All right. Anyways, moving on. I think we Mario Maker. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, there's one more thing I want to say. I really like no, the we, Mario Maker. We have stuff. not Mario Maker it out. Uh, no, man. No, no, no. no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the Mario Paint like tie like tie overs like those are really cool. I do like that. But oh, I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah, I had I love where I played through where somebody made the Splatoon theme, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. I had one where it was underwater, and you started as a Splatoon squid, the green one. And yeah, then, I put a level two. Uh, it was so cool. Or like the that fucking <laughs> blooper at the end. It was like ah. I know I died there, but there oh, was okay. one level where it was uh, it was called spikes and fishes or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I don't think the kid understood that he had a perfect um space to go up to the right and then back down. So like you don't even have to traverse through the spikes or anything. <laughs> you just basically, you go up straight to the right back down done so it was just like not challenging whatsoever there's just a lot of fish firing out of cannons which is hilarious oh yeah there's ridiculous things the goombas in the water are so silly you I, know you have that so it, it's definitely this, the combinations you can make are just ridiculous <laughs> your 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 uh your stage is a dickhead <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I hit the uh, invisible block, and then I was like, all right, I'll go up there and I'll get the bounce pad. And instead of picking it up, I just kind of bounced off it straight <laughs> to a spike. <laughs> that sounds like a user problem. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, anyway, so Mario Maker's great. Moving on. Tearaway Unfolded is the other thing I've been playing this week. Mm-hmm. So Is that literally just the Vita game? It is. I think they say it's like 50% of the Vita game and 50% yeah. of the content. Is kind of about where it is. Okay. So it's. Is, I've heard the new content's not uh not worth it. I see. You know what the thing the is? Game. It's been so long since I've played it. I don't remember what's new and what's old for the most part. Mm-hmm. They the story seems to be a little bit more told. I don't remember like narrators to this degree in the Vita game. Like there's narrators all over the place telling the story, but that could mm-hmm. just be me forgetting. I don't know, but they they do some really neat stuff with the DualShock Four controller. I think like the light that's on the light bar, you can like shine it at the screen and use it for different things. You use the touchpad like draw wind or draw objects on there. I mean, obviously it's not as nice as the touch screen for that, but oh, nice. it still is tolerable for it. And uh, you could like throw things into the controller and like flick them back at the screen, like things like that. Uh, it does actually use the PlayStation camera stuff as well. Okay. So. Uh, if you have one, like it will still do the whole peek into the the world of the you thing, where you can like look into the real world, and you can use like the the microphone, and you can like record things like before and stuff. So it does really take advantage of all the PlayStation Four stuff that you have advantage of. Mm-hmm. And I mean the the art style still looks great, but like I said, right, it is more of the same, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because there are a lot of people who never had the chance to play it on Vita, and I, I think I that is. That- I think it is a good way for people to try it out if they haven't played it. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say, like, this is, like, uh, the superior version, because the, the Vita one definitely was, like, tailored to it. Mm-hmm. But, like, what they did with this, I, I definitely think it's suitable, and I, I think it's great for people to try out what was arguably one of the best Vita games, and, and has a lot of potential for, like, future games. Like, I do like what they did with this and it's just still super creative and I do enjoy the stuff that you get to play with it. So is it the full sixty? Or is it like 40? it's a forty dollar game. Okay, it ain't too bad. Yeah, no, it's not yeah, bad it's at not all. Bad for its price. Mm-hmm. 
And I like, like I did it. I think they did this in the Vita game too. But like, I thought I was at the end of the game, and then there's like a psych out, and then you're like, not. And I'm like, damn it. I'm like, I thought I beat it, but now I still have like halfway through the game. So there is that. So I don't know. You neither of you guys got Tearaway, right? I don't think so. I, I, I haven't think- for Vita. I haven't. I ain't getting folded though. Listen, I I, know, I, I, I am happy with it, and I do think it's worth it for the forty dollar price. But like I said, if you already have played it, it's not going to be like mind blowing to you because you've already seen what it has to offer. Although I think, like I said, if you've gotten it, like Brandon, because Brandon never played it on the Vita. Yeah, I was thinking about getting it, but I I heard different things that people say that it just took too much away from the experience, and I was like, well, maybe I should just experience it through the Vita instead. No, I don't think so. Not so much that you want to go spend like what two hundred dollars on a Vita or whatever you can get them at for these Good days. Point. To, to go and do it. Like, this is definitely, like, suitable enough. Especially, like I said, if you have the camera, I do think that is just cool, too. I do like all the fourth wall breaking stuff they do. That's still in there. It does still have, like, a lot of the charm and stuff. Mm-hmm. I said, it, it, and I can't really put my finger on why I don't think it's as good as the original one. But, like, it's not like it's drastically worse or anything. Like, it's, uh-huh. you know, the first one, if it was, like, a 9, this would be, like, an 8.5 or something. Like, it's not... If I was going to throw, like, numbers, like, comparison. Like, it's not like it's that different. It, it's got a little bit more grindy stuff that I remember, but, like I said, it's it's not bad at all. But, like I said, a lot of it, too, might be just because I haven't played Tearaway on the Vita since it came out. So, yeah, that, that is that is what it is. I do recommend trying oh, it. Oh, that's so trolly. What did you do this time? I ran underneath Bowser to go to the exit, but it was walled off, so I was like, well, shit. Did you <laughs> did you bring anything with you to beat Bowser? No, I didn't get help. I didn't think about that yeah. until I was already on the thing. So you just skipped the four doors and just ran past. Uh huh. Yep. Stupid. You can actually <laughs> you can actually do that, but I made it so it wasn't. You have you to be like pretty luck. fucking good to be able to do yeah. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I tried. Uh huh. Yeah, I guess get get better. That's what they say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can get good. <laughs> get good <laughs> is the word you're looking. For. Sorry. Oh, uh, you can get better too. Uh, but that implies you're actually okay. And uh, you're not. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh. So, Tearaway, there's that. I guess the last little update for me, I've been playing more of Diablo 3, and for some reason it's starting to click with me, and I don't know why. But I've it actually. Takes a while. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been enjoying my time with it a lot more. I still have no fucking clue what's going on with the story. But I'm it's just okay. like. But I'm uh, like, I'm, like I... I'm a wizard, and I'm like throwing <laughs> fire and like. Blowing things up and summoning like meteors, and I'm like, I don't care. Here, like the thing is, and this is from somebody who played Diablo two mm-hmm. many, 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 many times over. I don't understand Diablo three story as you know at all either. <laughs> it just it makes no sense. It, it's stupid. This is very, very lackluster story. Yeah. Um, but it makes up for it in gameplay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I, I still think it plays wonderfully on the system. And I, like, there are some things I just really don't understand, I guess, still. But I'm, like, getting there. Like, I'm like, I don't understand this whole, like, loot system and things like that. I mean, I, I like, I understand, like, this is a better item. But I'm like, mm-hmm. I, I just don't understand, like, some of the nuances of it, you know? I don't know. But uh, I'm still playing it. So that's just kind of been my, my, my thing, my co-op game lately. So... And that that is all I have been playing. I don't know. It looks like Nick, you have some other things to talk about. Some uh, uh, yeah, returns. Yeah, yes. Um, that we didn't talk about Destiny two point last week, right? Yeah, we didn't, but we need to. Yes. So literally the day after me and Brandon were talking about Destiny, the two point update came out and fixed a lot of the shit that I hated in the game, uh, mm-hmm. including the bullshit light system. Um, so before. Level cap was 20, and to level up any more past that, you would have to get pieces of equipment that had a certain light level, and it would raise the amount of light you had, and if you got to a certain amount, it would level you up. It, it made no sense for a, uh, a level system. So now they changed it. Uh, uh, so far, the level cap is 34, but as of this podcast release, uh, the Taken King will be out, so it'll be up to 40. 40 is um, going to be the cap, right? The overall cap? Yeah, 40 is going to be the, the new overall cap, which... Honestly, I went from being like twenty three to thirty four in like a few days, like maybe like a day or two. Mm-hmm. It's not that hard to level up. It doesn't take that long at all. Um, they had some new no. strikes, which so there's which actually is good. stuff you can do now. 
Well, yeah, they added some new strikes, which is good because my main issue with that game was like there was like five strikes you could play, and you'd play them like thirty times, and it'd be boring, and you would you walk away from it. You'd be like, what do I do now? I mean, like... Yeah. Um. Although I'm not sure if you can answer this. Uh, why don't normal strikes give you uh loot now? Um, I think it's something to do with the anti RNG that they're wanting to go down. Like not as much, not as heavily needed by RNG and grinding. They're wanting to get away from that, so I think they're uh, making it so people can't just grind out normal stuff. <clears throat> I mean, I, I make sense because me and my buddy we played through uh, uh, the weekly heroic last night and we got some some good shit. Then I bought. I finally met up and actually bought stuff from Zer, mm. and I got like uh, exotic chest piece and exotic helmet, which it's kind of stupid. You can only have one exotic piece on at one time, but whatever. Um, oh, that's not my buddy. No, it has. I know it has been, but it's kind of silly. Like I've never played a game before where it's been like, oh, you have one really, really, really good item. Too bad you can't have any other ones. Like back, okay, I played Diablo two. You had like like full sets of things that were just amazing and could make your character badass. Mm-hmm. They didn't limit you to one thing. I don't understand why they're limiting you to one thing, but you know, it's because kind of silly. Yeah, because Destiny and because Bungie, and they're like, it's an MMO, but it's not. But it is. But it's not. <laughs> yeah. Um so it's it's captured Aww. my attention again for a little bit. Um I don't know. I mean it's it's been fun again, but I'm not sure how long that's gonna last. Probably I'm debating on getting finished taking game. Game. Oh you didn't buy it already? You're not going to or you don't know yet? I I, I don't know. Um uh, I'm wor- right now I'm working on the first DLC because I never downloaded either the DLCs that I got for free with the mm-hmm. collector's edition. Um which I mean, it's they're okay. I mean, it's it, it's more Destiny side shit. Like, do this five minutes. All right, now come back to me and report. So it's just more of that running back and forth. Do this little thing, and you're good. Um, I don't know what the Taken if the Taken King is going to be like that. I'm not sure if the Taken King is going to be worth forty dollars. So I bought it. I might just wait and see. Um, but I think the biggest change that people are going to notice is the fact that there's no more Dinklebot. Yeah, I I heard a lot of people hated that. I don't. See, uh, I forget who posted the video. Polygon the had a video by, that did the side by side. Yeah, there was a side by side comparison, and it seems like Nolan North for some of the lines is fantastic, and, and Peter Dinklage for some of the lines are fantastic, and then they both have lines where they're not so good at. So I'm not exactly sure if it's maybe like the voice acting director who's telling them to speak in a certain way or. Give them a certain way because yeah, I mean, it could just be their own take on the character too. Yeah. Like, and there's a lot of different reasons why you might get new ones, but a lot of times too, like they'll read the lines multiple times. Like, it's not like they usually only do like one take. Oh yeah. So it, it could just ultimately be like, oh, whoever at Bungie likes that reading better for whatever reason, and that's what they happen to go with. So, I mean, I like Nolan North's. I th- I'm, I'm gonna say I like Nolan North's uh, voice acting better because it seems like he's more interested in what mm-hmm. he's talking about whereas like if you played the alpha or beta for destiny like peter dinklage was just kind of like oh no you have to kill that witch like uh, okay. <laughs> I, I guess a lot, a lot of it too like the other side of it is a lot of people just ultimately decided that a lot of the problem was the writing and not so much the, the voice actor like the yeah, writing no, was kind of crappy the writing in this game uh, that's the one thing it's like they did a lot to fix it up and mm-hmm. to make it better. But honestly, with the way the game plays now, I think this game could have highly benefited from like a year or so delay. Uh-huh. And they could have refined it a lot more. Because mm-hmm. from what I understand now is when you play the single player, uh, they read a little bit. Like used to, When you used to play a single player, you would unlock these cards that would uh, release little tidbits about the story and the world and you know what happened. And from what I understand now, when you play the game through, they'll read some of those to you. Mm-hmm. But, like, the problem is, is, like, I played through the entire campaign. I have no idea why the darkness is attacking. I have no idea what the hell happened to Earth. I don't know why these Guardians are the only people that can help you. <laughs> so it's, like, the writing is just very, very lackluster. It's just a very boring, unimaginative story. But, again, the gameplay makes up for it. Yeah. The gameplay is very fun. The PvP is very fun. The strikes are fun for what mm-hmm. they are for how long. You know, you do them, but you know, it is fun, like playing the heroic strikes and you know, giving yourself a bit of a challenge and trying to unlock 
and like uh find engrams to get better weapons and gear and shit like that but it's just like it comes to a time where it's it's kind of boring again and mm-hmm. it's just like well i've played the same strike 30 times and i've gotten mostly bullshit it's you know it just kind of grows and wears on you for a while but um i don't know i'll see what the taken king does do it i'm hoping it'll make it a bit better i'm not really sure if it's going to add a story i hope it does because it's freaking 40 dollar expansion i would hope so i mean a lot of yeah. people are definitely a really happy with the 2.0 update so far and b <laughs> definitely kind of happy for what they're planning on doing with taken king so hopefully it ends up pulling through like that would that would be great for them and I would imagine too, like the the they're probably getting ready for Destiny two. They gotta be. You think it's really? Fun? I mean, I I would assume it's in pre production. If not, like they have like a story already laid out, and you know they have a direction where they want to go with it. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't think we're gonna see it for. I'd say at least another year and a half. We wouldn't see anything about. It. We might hear stuff here and there, like somebody you know being credited like on like a LinkedIn profile or some like dumb shit like that. Sweet and sour chicken was here. I had to vanish for a second. <laughs> Still a better story than Destiny. Yeah. That's... Um, oh, yeah. So much better. Uh, I just, I'm so hasn't. mad because the game had a lot of potential story-wise. It had, you know, a lot of great elements to it where they could have expanded on things and explained a lot, and they just didn't. And I don't understand, the, like, what happened between Bungie by themselves, or Bungie with Activision, rather, and then Bungie with Microsoft. Because while the stories for Halo 1, 2, and 3 weren't, you know monumental mm-hmm. they were still good you could still follow them and you're like all right I'm and they were this still there of... yeah they were still there so you're like all right master chief is doing this because of this and you know it, even though it was like a, like an a to b like all right do this because of this you know it was still a story you still knew why you're doing shit destiny is just like all right we're hacking this computer now uh all right i'm done let's go back <laughs> it's like i don't why do we do that i just i killed a lot of things just now while you're doing that and i don't know why you're not supposed to. I had, but I had fun doing it, so. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the important thing. Yeah, you know, that, that would be my one request if, you know, if they do Destiny 2, which they're definitely going to do Destiny 2. This game made a lot of the money. Um, is, you know, to have a more engaging story, but we'll see. See what they do with it. Yeah, I mean, I guess the other side of it, too, is it wouldn't surprise me if they go the route where, you know, they'll try to, like, <laughs> support it for an extra year to kind of get rid of any bad taste that people might have had by Destiny, like, 1.0. Yeah. Just kind of, like, over-support the game. But, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see what they end up doing. I, I, yeah. I don't I, think Taken King's going to be the last uh, expansion. I think they're going to do a few other little things. I don't think they're going to have something on the size of Taken King, but... Destiny 2. Taken <laughs> Queen. Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, no, like, when you got the 2.0 update, now it just doesn't say Destiny. It says Destiny, the Taken King. It's very obvious now uh-huh. that it looks like they want to make the Taken King more like, all right, this is how Destiny is now, and what you played before is in the past, and it's it's gone, it's and it's dead. Two. It's season yeah, two. it's basically yeah, it's season two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so, like it's like an, a wow having a wow expansion. <laughs> it really yeah. is. So I mean, which I mean works. It, yeah. yeah, it works. But I mean, I, I I haven't been convinced to spend the forty dollars on that yet because I don't know am I going to get burned again. Exactly. Well, do you want the new characters? I mean, a new character, new characters are cool, yeah, but, like, if I get bored of it because of lack of things to do. Three new classes, fucking energy bow, and energy hammers? Come on. Come on. Come on. I can play Halo 5 and get energy hammers. And probably have a better story. Like, alright, I got three new characters, but it's like, alright, great, now I gotta play through the story. Uh, (laughs) Again. I wanna... Freaking! It's like it's more of a chore than it is enjoying. It's like, well, all right, let me play through this. Okay, I, I get you. I understand where you're coming from. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. The same complaints I have about Destiny are the same complaints I have about Diablo. Because when same Diablo three, you have about MMOs in general. Well, I mean, they are like no, literally no, the you same know what? game. Like when I played Final Fantasy fifteen, the story is actually better than either the either Destiny or uh, Diablo. It's a lot of story. There's a lot of shit you gotta pay attention to. But, like, both Diablo and Destiny play great. Uh, both of their expansions made the gameplay a whole lot better. Mm-hmm. Still didn't fix their core problems of the story is shit. Mm-hmm. So, well, you see, that's the thing they're going for. Good gameplay. Great gameplay. But shit story. Because fuck it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, like, I'm not gonna keep playing a game just because it has good gameplay. I need a, I need a Why? mixture of... 
of it's fun to that, play. That's my question. Why wouldn't you? If a game is good to play, why would you be like, yeah, but I don't like the story. Why are you I mean, playing Mario Maker? Then? Why are you playing a game in that case? Because I mean, if you just want the story, then you can just watch a video. No, no, I don't. No, that's different. I, I let me put it this way. I bought Mario Maker on knowing 100% right, I'm buying this. He bought Mario place. Maker expecting a grandiose story. Yes, no. I bought Mario Maker knowing fully what I was getting into by buying Mario Maker. I knew there was this, it's just a little game you can play around with, fuck around with, there's no story, whatever. I buy a game like Destiny, I fully expect there to be a story alongside of good gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a difference of what you, of your, there's different expectations of different types of games. So it's not that, like, all right, um, I'm not really sure how to explain myself right now. I wouldn't say I love Destiny just because of the gameplay. Okay. Like, I'd say it's an all right game. The gameplay makes up for everything, every other shortcoming. Destiny. But, yeah. But, like, I can't, I personally cannot See, recommend here's the Destiny. Destiny to Destiny's online multiplayer, like the PvP, is more Halo than Halo currently. That's the problem oh, yeah. I have. But, like, I have a friend who's like, should I get Destiny? I'm just like, I don't know. And it's, you know, I, I honestly cannot I recommend Destiny. Like oh my god! What the fuck? Sorry. Is Destiny I that think, good? I think, I think Brandon's still... Uh, <laughs> I, I might be. <laughs> no, he's still playing Mario Maker. <laughs> I'm playing his stage still. I didn't oh, know really? Bowser could jump that high and then come back down on you with the vengeance of God. <laughs> now, like... It's not like I have to have a groundbreaking like experience of a story because one of my favorite games is Fallout Three, and both you and I know story is very weak. Yeah, it's alright. But you know, I still like it. I still like you know the story that I played, and I still very much like the gameplay and the atmosphere of the game. So I don't need this you know like Last of Us style like emotional. You're gonna cry and get involved with the character story. I just want something. Give me a reason why I'm doing these things. Yeah. That's all I asked for. That's understandable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But. So have you been playing anything else? Uh, have I? I meant to play a lot more this week, but, like, time That's just kind of got away from typical me. typical, Nick. No, nah, it's just, like, I have a lot of shit to do this week. Friends. And, like, huh? yeah. like well, I'm not sure how hot it was around you guys, but it was, like, 95 and humid here. And I primarily work out like not outside in the elements but like i work in a shop that's not air conditioned or anything mm -hmm. so it's like you get home and you're like well fuck doing anything <laughs> no like, I, I hear I, you so i mean yeah brandon you live in the land of peaches where it suns a 90 every day yeah, exactly. oh yeah no, it's, it's consistently 90 mm -hmm. yeah every single day all day <laughs> very consistently um i mean i played another kind of game I bought an unofficial expansion to uh, Cards Against Humanity called Crabs Adjust Humidity, and I played that. <laughs> and I highly suggest if you have cards to get the expansions of Crabs Adjust Humidity because it's friggin' hilarious. Uh, one card that made me and my friends laugh, there was one that was um, the, soft, what, the soft call of a lustful goose. And it's just the funniest fucking thing I ever... Like, <laughs> I like, the, um, oh, they have a dick butt card. <laughs> Dick butt card? Oh, I love and it's it. Not, and it's not just like the word dick butt. They actually drew a dick butt on the card. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, all right, it's one thing to read dick butt, but then like to pick up the card and be like, all right, cool, dick butt. Fantastic. Yep. Uh, that is a dick butt. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much all I've been playing. All right. Brad, have you, have, have you been playing anything else? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, so, actually, I'm sitting here now. I'm like, did I? <laughs> I played more MGS5. Uh, I'm still enjoying that. Um, I think I've gotten to the point now where it's actually getting difficult because I'm having a lot of issues. But not only that, but now like the story of the game is starting to be like morally questionable. Yeah. <laughs> to the point that's where I'm like, huh, wow, that's <clears throat> that's pretty fucked up. And uh, I'm genuinely curious to see where the hell this is going. Uh, I also... And along with Nick, played some Destiny 2.0, a little bit of it, um, which I enjoyed. It was fun. Um, Mario Maker, like I was saying before. And then I played this mini-golf game. Mini-golf? Yes, this mini-golf game that I 
can't remember the title to, but it's really weird. It the like Mario takes Ball? it takes place up in the clouds, and um, it's in a world where like all the world down below the clouds is like continuously raining forever, and it's caused like floods and like the end of the world. So but it's above, a Bible game. In the clouds, there's a mini golf, and it's like kind of steampunky. And it's it's really interesting, and the the things you can do, like the maps you can build, and the maps that are already built, uh, are very different because they're like, oh, you can go do this, or you can try to bounce this off that wall and bounce it into that, and then bounce it over here into the hole. And you can do like crazy ass trick shots because since you've got like uh, not only like uh, the I guess gravity working for you. Uh, but, like, you can adjust your shot and how hard you hit it and that sort of thing. And um, when you do so, you can, like, make it bounce off of things. You can, like, hit it at an angle. So, I, I don't know. It's just really neat. It's hard to explain, though. There's a lot to do with, like, physics of things in this game. And um, it wants you more so to try to get the ball into the hole in the least amount of uh, still in the least amount of hits, but do it with style. And it's some of the maps golf. are so crazy. Like, uh, you know, you got some that, like, use the wind stream from be- uh, below and everything to, like, push your ball up or off the horse and, like, to the side. And you have, like, windmills and stuff. But they're, like, tiny windmills. And, like, you're able to put all these different hazards. And it's all steampunk-themed. And it's really weird, because, like, when you first start the game... You, like, get strapped into this chair, and they, like, zap you in the head, and then you get taken to the golf course, so it's, like, all in your head, kind of. Like, this game's weird, and I don't know how to explain it, but, like, I picked it up on a whim, and uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's also very, very, very strange. So, I mean, other than that, Mario Maker and Destiny, uh, just just more MGS5, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, it's really hard to talk about that because I I really can't without spoil spoilers. So you're gonna consistently hear that for a while. Like, yeah, I've been playing this game, but I can't tell you anything about it because then I would have a mob of angry people burn my house down. So why don't you talk to us about a news theme then? Uh, I would love to tell you the news. Here is a news. I'm honestly impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, breaking news! Nintendo Dave's new president, Tatsumi Kimishima. Which is actually their old president from 2002, I believe? No, for Nintendo of America. He was, like, the, the head of Nintendo of America for, like, the GameCube era. And, like, the early Wii. 2002. But not the whole company. Just Nintendo of America. Okay. Basically, Reggie took his spot. Got it. Um, actually, I think he was the CEO of Nintendo of America, which, is that how it works? But Reggie's not the, Reggie's the president. Like, I think yeah. he was, the, he was, he was Reggie's boss. Mm-hmm. He, or he would have been Reggie's boss. So remember at one point, like, Iwata came and, like, was the head of Nintendo of America? Like, he had that job. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? I got it. It okay. makes sense. Yeah, I think that, I think that's how it worked. But he oversaw that whole thing. I don't know if you guys had seen the stories, but... Basically, he's like, I'm just going to continue with what Iwata's doing, and, you know, there's a plan in place here, and I'm not really looking to shake things up, but I'm looking to find a good management foundation for the future of the company, and continuing the direction that Iwata started. So, that's what we're looking at right now. I mean, he's 65 years old. So, he's pretty old. Which, I mean, nothing to say about his quality of work, but more so that he's not going to be there for a long time, and, like... When putting him in the spot, they would know that. Like, they, they would... He's going to be one of those ones where he's... You know, he'll be there for a few years, and then, you know, while they well, groom their new management, and he, then go from there. They were saying, I think he said it himself, the contract they offer him, they offered him was only for a year so far. Oh, really? I didn't see that. So, I'm not sure if maybe he's just going to be an interim kind of guy, that they need somebody to run it, you know... 
because maybe it was getting a little bit too much for uh, Miyamoto and the other guy that they had running it. Well, the other um, thing is, too, they did say, you know, part of the reason they, they made this decision now is because they needed something in place as they go into the holiday season, which is when they sell, you know, most of their stuff. Mm-hmm. And that makes so, sense. Yeah. So, exactly. So, he's going to come in there. I mean, listen, who knows what's going on, but, you know, they do still have their mobile games launching this year, you know, Amiibo, and all well, that Mobile games stuff. are launching this year. They haven't announced them yet, but there is no. one that they're partnered on that's coming out. It's called Pokemon Go. That's not the next year. Well, that's as I said. It's a mobile game that they have announced that's coming out. It's not this yeah, year. Yeah, I got you. That's 2016. But the trailer looks great. I'm sure you guys it, both it sure it. does. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like I, ARG, MMO, Pokemon Snap. I can't stop seeing memes for it, though. Oh, really? Yeah, they're just everywhere. Are you going to run down to Times Square and fight Mewtwo? Uh, no, more like, uh, this one that was like, I'm gonna break into Area 51, and when they ask me, what the fuck am I doing here, I'll be like, I have to catch you too! <laughs> Shit like that. Or like, you, what, what if you, uh, have it vibrate, and you wake up in the middle of the night, you look in the corner of your room, and there's just a Mr. Mime standing there. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be quite the evening. That would be pretty yeah. impressive. But, I mean, based on things that I've heard, you know, a lot of the goal of this game is to... Because a lot of the, the stuff's based around, like, landmarks. Like, so it, it really wants you to get out and, like, meet other people and explore the world that you, like, That's really cool. live in locally. So, yeah, I mean... And, Thank and, God and, I live in Philadelphia. We have a lot of landmarks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to have fucking no Pokemon here. It's just going to be, like, peaches. Is That's there a, a peach-type Pokemon? I was wondering... I was wondering... What it was, I was wondering... I knew it Let me Google... That. I'll probably just type. let him get, like, berries, like peaches that he can feed the Pokemon. <laughs> that, or maybe he'll just get, like, a peach tree from, like, Animal... Wait a minute, there is a peach Pokemon! There is? Is it? I'm not sure if this is real or not. Hold on. This might just be somebody doing some tomfoolery on DeviantArt. Ooh, oh, you're on DeviantArt. Then, <laughs> yeah, probably. But it looks almost official, so it's good enough. Oh, you're on DeviantArt, of course. No, I googled cool. peach-type Pokemon and went to Images. Not going deviant art. Just gonna put that out there. We're going deviant art. I mean, I see one that looks like a acorn. Yeah, no. Uh, I don't think there are any peaches. Yeah, you'll probably just get like a peach tree from like Animal Crossing. Like, I don't understand this isn't even a fucking Pokemon, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, no, I'm I'm excited to see where they go with that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really neat. It'd be interesting. Yeah, so they um they partnered up with, and I can't remember the company's name right now. The, the it was a Google spinoff. And they had already done, like, a similar type game, like a space kind of ARG, which I guess was really cool. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're partnering with them, and obviously the Pokemon company. Oh, that made me think of the, the other uh, meme I saw. Yeah? It was uh, um, when Pokemon Go releases, I'm going to try to join NASA. And when they ask me why I'm joining, I'll be like, I have to catch Dioxys. <laughs> Where are we going to find Whale Lord at? <laughs> well, you'll probably find, like... Mew in South America somewhere, isn't that where he was? Yep. In, like, there he is. I, I know. In the fucking trees somewhere. I, I live near the Jersey Shore. Near South so America? Sure. <laughs> You're I know. I live in South America. Yeah, no, so, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm going to catch Mr. Mon. No, I'm, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of kids running around in the water with their fucking Pokemon Go things on. <laughs> Trying to catch fucking any type of fish type Pokemon. Well, and see, I, this is and the I thing. Hope... Like, let's be honest. It's New Jersey. So the only Pokemon you're going to catch will be like Mock. That one that no, looks like we trash. catch like Gabador. Like, like you you go in our water and you'd catch a Garbodor every fucking time. <laughs> yeah. And everybody would be like, Is there a fu- is there a glitch? And you call up Nintendo like, nah, you live in New Jersey, suck it. Yeah, it's just it's not <laughs> gonna be like the like garbage Pokemon. So mm-hmm. yeah, that one, like I said, buck, wheezing, like all of them. That's what you're gonna have in that lovely state of yours. So yeah, so Pokemon Go looks interesting. It'll be interesting to see what it actually looks like. They also have that Pokemon Go Plus thing that you can like wear. It's like a weird yeah, item that I want will notify the, you. That's the creepy thing, because, like, it vibrates to notify you. Yeah. So, like, that was where the Mr. Mime thing came. Like, imagine wearing your uh, Pokemon Plus in the middle of the night, and then it vibrates, and he's just standing in the corner of your room like, Mr. Mime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, other Nintendo news. The people have sold more than 7 million in North America. Not really surprising, mm-hmm. but that's news. It, how is that news? I don't know. Hey, it's there. They just announced it. I thought it was fitting with the release of all the new Amiibo. They probably hit 8 million with this yeah. uh, Amiibo apocalypse this last week. Yeah, but you know what? It wasn't really much of one because I was able to find Amiibo. 
Yeah. I was able to just walk in and find Amiibo. No but, pre-orders, no nothing. See, just that's walk. nice. That means they can sell more, which means they probably sold another million. So yep. I already ran out of space on the spice racks that I bought from Amazon. <laughs> I got to so, so get something to hold my Amiibos because I have so many now. <laughs> yeah, like, they're, they're both filled up, and I don't have room I have three where they are things, for a like, third mm-hmm. one. I have three because more Amiibo coming. Where do I put these? <laughs> I think I, sh- I sent you guys a picture of my setup, but, yeah. like, I got yeah the two spice racks and I got the boxes for like my my Zelda shit in the middle, so like uh, I don't even know if I fill up a third one because how many more amiibos are we gonna get for at least I mean I guess Smash so far. Uh, I mean it's Smash and it depends on how far so I, down the round the rabbit hole you go because I mean there's the uh, eight Animal Crossing ones also coming up this night. year. I do want those Shovel Knight, um, Chibi Robo. Chibi uh, Robo. I want the Shovel like Knight one. Week. The Shovel Knight one looks gorgeous. Yeah, it. and um, they they said they're doing those themselves. Yeah, yeah. and then all the yarn Yoshis are gonna get those. Yeah, a billion yarn Yoshis. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna get a yeah, like, literally just a billion of them. I'm just gonna like be like like there's gonna be Start actually beanie babies that there. are gonna be worth something. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, there's that all coming up. Uh, other things coming out too. Uh, Starcraft Two Legacy of the Void launches November 10th. The Ooh. beta released today. If mm-hmm. you uh, are part of that. I still, I keep on saying I need to go back through and finish Heart of the Swarm. Like, I got so I <laughs> far through the campaign, I haven't finished it. I, lo- I have a soft spot for StarCraft, but... Really? Yeah. Huh. I would not take you as a StarCraft. Holy shit, player. <laughs> StarCraft player, holy shit? Like, you're just so shocked by that? I'm very shocked by that. Are you still playing my level? No, I beat your level. Oh, I don't good. that. No, I didn't remember you saying it. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyways... Speaking of holy shit, Apple announced this new <laughs> Apple TV that supports gaming. Holy, holy shit. shit. <laughs> My goodness. I wish uh, I could be uh, excited, but I can't because Apple. Uh, it's going to be starting at 150. It will come with a remote that kind of is like a Wii remote and supports motion gaming. So everything is just the same thing, but Apple's doing it? Huh. Pretty much. It also, I guess, can support like third-party controllers, too. Uh, like Disney Infinity is actually coming out for it, and uh, that will support its own. That controller. I am a little bit surprised by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was surprised by that too. That's also got things like Crossy Roads and a uh, Harmonix game that looks like Wii Sports, at least from what I saw. So, yeah. Uh, last piece of news that I see here Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows releasing on September 17th for free. Woo! Yeah. Which That's is pretty cool. By the time this podcast comes out, you probably already know, but maybe not. Also, you're the first person that's told me this, so I'm pretty excited now that I know this exists. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. so there's that to look forward to if you are excited. Play as Plague Knight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, any other news you guys want to talk about? Um, um, I got some non-game related, but like still kind of like what me and uh, Brandon talk about sometimes. Uh, it's about oh. Kanye West. No, it's about anime. <laughs> um, Do what now? Did you hear that Christopher Nolan wants to make a trilogy out of Akira? No, I did not. What the fuck? And I was like, I don't know how I feel about that, because I don't like uh, Akira, so. Wait, what? What? You, you're you not fucking with me? And the, and the not liking Akira part, or the Christopher yeah. Nolan making a trilogy part? Uh, both. I'm serious about the, the he's saying about doing a trilogy, and I'm also serious about not liking it. Why? <laughs> don't you like Akira? Because there's a motorcycle on the front, and I got fucking LSD Dream Simulator when I watched it. Terrible. <laughs> Anim- animation's great. But it was just like, I, I felt like I was raped, honestly, when I watched it. I had no idea what was going on. Crazy. But that's anime in general. No, it's not. That's quite a few anime in general. Because then I watched Redline the week later, and I was like, this is fucking awesome. Wait, you you watched Akira that late into its lifespan? I, I watched Akira, like, a few months ago. That's your problem. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I wasn't a child of the... I, what, that came out in the 70s, 80s? The flower Child? That was sorry, like I was 60, born in, man. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know when it came out. But sorry, I wasn't born when it came out. Not my you problem. You should be. You should be. Okay, 1980s. Or, uh, the film came out in 88. I wasn't alive yet, so not my problem. Lame. Probably uh, get to work on that. Let me just go back in time. <laughs> no, that movie was amazing. It was really good. Uh, Still is really uh, good. Uh, okay, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. Uh, 
<laughs> like I said, you're entitled to your wrong opinion, Nick. Um, very funny. That makes me excited. That, that, that's the thing. Anyways, anything else you guys want to talk about? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I, I bought a new comic series called Cross. And apparently it's the uh, goriest thing that's ever been done in comics. I like it. It's uh, it's it's pretty fucked up. I like it. I'm, I haven't bought comics in a while. Well, you need to get on that because some good comics are currently. I probably should. Out. Like We Stand on Guard, I, I recommend that. And I started a new series called um, Morning Glories. If you've never heard of that series, like here's the thing. If you look at the cover, you're going to be really put off by it because it looks like some teeny bopper high school thing. Uh-huh. But it's not, and that's what makes it the best. Uh, it's basically like it's essentially lost if lost didn't suck. Okay. okay. Uh, I mean... It's about these kids that are being sent to this prestigious high school, right? But the the trick is it's actually like a prison, and they don't know it when they first go there. But like the teachers can just murder you because they feel like it, and then like to not spoil anything. Um, because of, other than the murder you thing, because that's pretty <laughs> evident once you get into it, very, like, within the first few pages. Uh, but, like, they do some pretty fucking deranged shit to these kids. Like, just completely fucked up. So is it like Danganronpa? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Um, I, I know what you're talking about. It, and I do like that game, by the way. I, I finally got to play some of it. But, no, um, this is like... Uh, they get drugged and taken there, uh, but, like, they were willingly going at first, but then, like, they don't know where they were taken to, and on top of that, like, there's a massive amount of security. Like, Mm -hmm. all the teachers are in on it, so they're still trying to teach it like it's a normal class and everything, but, like, they might do something like ask a question, and then fill the entire room up with water if someone doesn't answer it correctly and try to drown everyone in the room. Or crazy shit like that. Um, they somehow erase people's memory from outside of the school. So no one knows who these kids were, were at one point. So, like, they're basically off the grid completely. So the teachers there can do whatever the fuck they want to them. And they do. And then it gets into some weird-ass sci-fi territory that I don't even understand what's going on yet. But it's cool, and I really like it. And it's a very good series. So much so that I read, like, the entire first volume in less than a week. And then I was like, yeah, I like that. And I went and bought the second one the next week. (laughs) And I haven't read that yet. But I I have it, so I'm going to read that sometime soon. Okay. Yep. Anything else? Uh, No, not not really. All right. I'm trying to extend the time a bit because I think <laughs> that we uh we were very very short on everything today for the most part. Uh, I don't know. It depends on when we started, I guess. I don't. I can't quite tell. This is time. like a forty minute episode, dude. No. Yeah. No. no. You're just... forgetting that you disconnected. Oh, it also no. took us like forty minutes for you to get your mic corrected <laughs> because every time that you uh. And the podcast, or you click out of Skype, you're like, all right, we go back to factory settings, restore, fantastic, all right, we'll do that next time. Yeah, that's not what happened at all. <laughs> Anyways, let's wrap this guy up. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Why are we to wrapping this- up the sky? Thank you, everyone, for listening to <laughs> us this week. Don't forget, the community playthrough is coming up. Two more episodes after this. Guys, so we're gonna be playing Shadows of the Dam. I bought the game. I so know. I'm halfway there. We're moving in the right direction. I am, the, I am the only person who doesn't own the game at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was looking for it at Best Buy last night. They had the fucking Chronicles of Riddick game for PS3, but not Shadows of the Dam. Dude, I want. I, I never got to play the Chronicles of Riddick game. I, I was like, what the? Who the fuck? God damn it! And I was so mad. <laughs> so yeah, that's coming up on episode 120. So you have about two more episodes. The next, the uh, one more. This episode, next episode, and then we're talking about the episode after. So, that's coming up soon. Also, don't forget, you can download our episodes on iTunes, on Stitcher. Uh, you can listen to it. I keep on trying to say I SoundCloud. I forgot the place I uploaded these. No, I keep on trying to say SoundCloud. Like, I don't know why. We don't We don't have something with SoundCloud. Like my SoundCloud, bro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Stitcher. I'll be uploaded to MySpace and SoundCloud. <laughs> 
So, and then uh, we're on YouTube, and uh, you can download from the website doublegaming.com. Uh, leave us a review, share us with the friends, give us your feedback, even on Twitter. We are super appreciate it. Also, you can find us on Facebook or on Twitter at GME, C-R-U-N-C-H. Brandon, do you have anything to share with us tonight? I fell inside of a stiletto and fell off the world. Uh-huh. I always have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> Normal day-to-day stuff, you win. Yeah, yeah I fell inside of a stiletto and died. Uh, Nick, how about you? Anything to send out of? Did you fall inside of a stiletto and die, Nick? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, I fell inside. Actually, no, I fell inside of a clog. Actually, a lot more embarrassing. <laughs> but, uh, no, what I'm are good. those? All right. Uh, just meme factory over here. Excuse what? What are clogs? Like, clogs are a type of shoe. Like a wooden no. shoe. Like a wooden no, shoe, yeah, basically. Uh, anyways, uh, my name is Mike Anastasia. You can find me on the internet. I'm Clash of Penguin on uh, Twitter or your favorite gaming consoles. You, and, you can't find him as Clash on uh, Clash on Penguin. <laughs> you can't find him as Clash of Penguin on um, on Mario Maker though. I uh, he's Mike. Mike there. Oh, yeah. Well, my Wii U name is Mike, Clash of England, Mike. but my Mii's name is Mike. Yeah, so, so it shows your me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Wait, your name is Mike? No. We can no longer be friends. <laughs> God my damn it! You tricked me! So it's only the most popular name of the last three decades, apparently. So, anyways. Stop having it. I know. It's stupid. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> And anyways, with that said, thank you everyone for listening to us today, and until next week, game on! Game on! Yes, play Mario Maker, because it's amazing. Yes, yes it is. Just, just Mario Maker on. Don't Mario even, Maker. Don't game on. Mario. Mario on. Get your Mario twins on. Fuck you, Mario Turtle twins. Shell. <laughs> Fuck you, Turtle Shell. Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> Airship 8-B remix. Auto-scrolling enabled. Fuck you.